So this video is one of the ball screen reads. Now we're talking about hitting the pop. It's a lot of the same concepts as hitting the roll, but now we're hitting the pop. So instead of running to the basket, you're running out for a three. It'll make sense. Let's go into the videos. So hitting the pop or a pick and pop is a lot of the same concepts as the pick and roll, but now instead of running in that straight line hard to the basket, we're spacing out for a jump shot. So again, starting it off with a little clip where this is about as textbook as the pick and pop gets. Starting off with a little horns action, two screens up top. Vander Sloot, the ball handler, sets it up nicely. We can already see that initial defender is getting caught behind the screen. And again, watch how patient she is coming off the screen, reading the defense, finds herself in a position again where two defenders are surrounding her, which means someone else is open. Most of the time, when two people are guarding you, you've already done your job, and you just gotta find the open player. In this case, instead of rolling hard to the basket like we just saw in the previous clips, Gabby Williams, the screener, is popping, finding space for a wide open three. And Williams probably could have gone anywhere along the top there, because that is plenty of space to knock down a three. And getting easy open shots like that is really just winning basketball. Okay, on this one, first, I love a good double high ball screen because now we have a roller and a pop. And with all that action going on, it can be a headache to defend, which of course is a great thing when you're on the offensive end. So again, we're patient in setting this up. We can see the two screeners up top and you just have to use the screen in a way that makes it tough for that defender to get around. Usually that means coming off really tight close to your teammate, your screener, and not giving the defender any space to get through. And Gray does a good job of that. As you can see, her defender really gets hit by both screens. And you get the idea that guarding a double ball screen when it's done well is just straight up annoying. So now we've set a good double ball screen and now we got the roll and the pop. So Agumake here, she's gonna roll hard straight to the basket. And then you got Parker, the other screener, finding space up top, popping for a three. So with all this action going on, it's hard for the defense to match up properly or even recover properly, and Parker gets left wide open at the three. And in this particular play, when it comes down to who should roll and who should pop, I think what matters most is personnel. So I want my better inside player to roll to the basket and my better shooter to be the one popping for the shot. But if those two players are exactly equal, we'll say hypothetically, then typically you'd rather that first screener be the one to roll hard initially to the basket and then the second screen to be waiting for the pop. But the most important thing is that we got good spacing and multiple options to attack. All right, this pick and pop is mostly the same concepts, but just a little bit different in the sense that that pop is not just spacing out for a three, but finding a space inside the three for a shot. So Sue Bird with the ball does a good job using the screen, getting that defender caught behind and out of the way. She continues to attack and then finds herself in that similar position we keep talking about where now she's drawn two defenders so someone else is open. So now Stewart, the screener, has to find where she can get open. In this case, you can see she probably could have just spaced out for a three again, but she sees space in the middle by the elbow, cuts there, and gets an easy jumper. And oftentimes, a shot like this is a better alternative than forcing the roll into the crowded defense. Basically, you just gotta find an open space and be available for your point guard or whoever that is coming off the screen. Check out the website, check out the social medias, check out the other videos, lots of other good basketball stuff.